The Chicago Bulls are one of the worst teams in the NBA. Since losing to LeBron, the Bulls have only two winning seasons and a winning percentage of 43%. So clearly, it has been rough in the Windy City. But there's hope. My job is to win the Bulls in NBA championship. And if I don't complete that, along with the rest of the goals on screen, one of you guys will be winning a brand new jersey. Let's begin. All right, so let's take a look at the roster here. Obviously, Kobe White, Josh Giddy, Zach Levine, Pat Will, and Vucevic. Off the bench, Alonzo Ball, Iodo Sumnu, Jalen Smith, Taylor Horton Tucker. We have Kenny Lofton, Julian Phillips, Matas Buzelis, Chris Duarte, Tori Craig, and Javon Carter. We also have Adama Sonogo. I'm going to look to make a trade right away. Nothing crazy, but I don't think I want Tori Craig on roster. If I can get anything from him, that'd be huge. We're actually gonna make this trade with the Grizzlies getting John Conchar. It's not a three-year deal, just some salary we can have, as well as that draft pick from, I believe that's Indiana. Yeah, we'll take that. That's fine. And then we're gonna go into free agency and we're actually gonna sign a contract here, a two-way deal with Earl Jenkins. If we can get him, he's from the Greensboro Swarm. He's a stud. He's only 26, but he's a 77 overall. We've made the changes we need to. Here's the lineup. Kobe, Josh Giddy, Zach Levine, Pat Will, Vucevic. Off the bench, we got Lonzo Ball, Aldo Sumnu, Jalen Smith, THT. Now you're wondering, where's Montas? Why is he not playing? I'm gonna put Montas in the G League. Secondly, why am I trading some of these bets? I'm gonna try to trade some of these bets at the trade deadline unless the season's going crazy um, i want to try to get them at peak value we actually already made a trade but we're gonna make another one here we're gonna trade patrick williams jalen smith in two seconds for deandre hunter the lakers are protected first and lindy waters first trade i made i wasn't the biggest fan of but i did it we traded matas and julian phillips for precious achua and mitchell robinson julian phillips sucks matas doesn't really develop well in this game mitchell robinson's a stud precious is a stud we're making moves this is the lineup we're gonna go with kobe white getty levine we're gonna sub in deandre hunter here we got vucevic off the bench on the ball mitchell Robinson, Precious Tua, and THT. We also have Iota Sumnu. I'm not really sure how I feel about the team. Uh, Zach Levine, the two year, we get him back on this. That means his final year won't be $50 million. We like that. Lonzo, three years, $20 million each. That's not bad. Giddy, he wants the big bag, but he's developed well in this game. Chris Duarte, two years, less than $5 million a year. I'm with that. And I win executive of the year. We win 50 and 32. I think we're the two seed in the East. Matas averaged five points. He didn't do much. We're the two seed. How are we the two seed? We won 50 games. That's crazy. I don't know how this team won 50 games. Levine led the team with 19 points. Kobe had 16. Vooch had 15. Giddy had 14. Hunter had 12. Anto Ball 11 off the bench. THT 10 off the bench. Vooch had 10 rebounds. I mean, shit. I guess we're playing good basketball, but the, oh, we gotta play Philly? Well, I'll be honest. I didn't expect to make the playoffs anyway, so we're playing with house money. And we get <laughs> Game one, Levine has 26, Giddy has 24 and 12, Kobe has 23, Hunter has 18, Dosun has 17, Vooch has 10. Game two, we lose, Lonzo has 20, Giddy has 18, Precious has 14, Io has 12, Vooch has 11. Game three, we win, Levine has 34, Vooch has a 20 and 14 double double. Game four, we lose, Vooch has 22, Hunter has 17, Giddy has 16, Kobe White has 15, Lonzo with 12, Dosun with 11. Game five, this is a crucial game, Levine had 32, Vooch had 23, Hunter had 20, we still lose that. And then the clincher, Lonzo has 20, Dosun has 17, THC has 16, Levine 15, Precious 12, Kobe 11 and DeAndre Hunter at 10. The Sixers are made to the conference finals. Oh, so we lost to a great team. LeBron retired. CP3, you can come back. Al Horford, you can come back. Mike Conley, you can come back. Brooke Lopez, you can come back. LeBron and Russell Westbrook. LeBron gets his jersey retired. Three teams for LeBron. Lowry with one. Russ has one. Anything changed here? No league meetings. We have a pick here, but I believe it is Portland's protected pick. We have the Lakers pick at 10. Whoa. I don't think this is going to jump up, but hey, what do you know? If not, we have the 10th overall pick. That's fine. And here come the Bulls with 10. I'm fine with getting the 10th pick that's awesome and the blazers they were at six they have that pick okay so we're fine with that we're gonna trade javon carter here to san antonio for a first in a second we did make some moves this offseason igor demon we brought in precious achua and taylor horton tucker brought those guys back and then earl jenkins as well this is the rotation right kobe and josh yeti bringing igor demon in to start right away deandre hunter at the four who's at the five bringing levine off the bench with mitchell robinson io Dusunu, lonzo ball and then you know precious taylor horton tucker chris duarte john conchar we're in a good spot we went and signed george brooks to a contract. George Brooks is a young player. He's 26. He's a 77 overall. Just another guy we can have, just like Earl Jenkins. And yeah, let's uh let's see this season. I'm looking at trades for Bobby Portis. I'm not a big fan of Igor Demon. I think I'm gonna trade Igor Demon and Precious for Bruce Brown and Bobby Portis. We're in a chance to win this title this year. We're playing fantastic down the stretch. I'm gonna go for it. We're also gonna make a trade here for Julius Randle. We're gonna upgrade our power four position. Obviously, gonna trade DeAndre Hunter and Taylor Horton Tucker plus our first round pick unprotected. Sam Hauser and Julius Randle. 2027 is like three years from now. We're gonna be good by the then I think this has a chance to turn out really well for us. So our new starting lineup is Kobe White, Josh Giddy, Zach Levine, Julius Randle, and Nikola Vucevic. Off the bench, Lonzo Ball, Bobby Portis, Ayo Sumnu, Bruce Brown. We have Chris Duarte still, John Conchar, Sam Hauser, and then George Brooks and Earl Jenkins, as well as Mitchell Robinson. So we're in a great spot. Kobe White wants a three-year, $100 million deal. We're good with that. He's a stud. Ayo Sumnu wants $20 million a 
year. It's a little expensive, but at the end of the day, it's only 60 million. That's not bad. Vucevic, two years at less than 20 million a year. I'm with that. Chris Duarte wants a one year minimum. I'm cool with that. And then John Conchar, same thing, minimum. Just have bodies on the team. That's huge. And so we made the playoffs as the three seed this year. Again, let's take a look at the standings. We won 47 games, a little bit down from last year. Let's take a look at the stats from this season. Randall led the team with 19 points. Giddy with 17. Levine with 15. Bobby Porter's 15 off the bench. Kobe White with 14. Vucevic with 14. Taking on the Knicks. I wonder how good the Knicks are in this. Jalen Brunson. They're starting Svi Mikhailuk. I love Svi. I'm a Kansas guy, but Svi Mikhailuk, get the hell out of here, bro. We should run through the Knicks. Every time I say that, we lose. They smoked us in game one. Kobe with 17. Bobby with 15. Vooch with 13. Levine with 11. Game two, we win. Julius Randle with 27. Kobe White with 22. Giddy with 18. Vooch and Bobby Porter with 15 apiece. Levine with 14. Dosunu with 12. Lonzo with a 10 and 11 double double. Game three, we win. Just a whole team effort, right? 16 and 15 from Josh Giddy. 15 from Levine. 15 and 11 from Vucevic. 15 from Lonzo. 14 from Kobe. 13 from Julius Randle. 10 for Bobby Porter's and a three from Bruce Brown. Game four, we lose by one. Again, a defensive slugfest. Levine with 18, Randall with 14, Giddy with 12, Kobe White, Vucevic, and Portis with 11, Lonzo and Io with five. Game five, we lose this one. Kobe has 21, Julius has 20, Levine has 14, Vuce has 13, Bobby has 11, and in the clincher, couldn't score. Kobe and Vuce each had 18, Josh had 13, Dosunu had 12, Bobby had 11, Levine had 10, Randall with seven, Lonzo and Bruce with five each. Okay, the Knicks made the conference finals. Pacers. Okay. Hall of Fame, Chris Paul. Jersey retirements, just Chris Paul. Odds of obtaining a top three pick are based on the team's final record. I wonder what that means. I'm going to allow that, though. Do we have a pick here? We shouldn't. I saw our name up there, Bulls via Portland. That's already protected, so it doesn't even matter. Oh, no, it drops to eight. We do have a top 10 pick. Oh, my God. Okay. We need a new head coach. Honestly, I'm going to try bringing in Joe Missoula. We're going to bring in Joe Missoula as our head coach. That's going to be so cool. In the draft, we have the eighth pick in this draft. I didn't expect this. Got some trade offers for this pick. I don't really know if I want to use that. Them. But at the end of the day, we do have some good players on this team. And we're going to take Darius Akuff. Don't really have an elite point guard right now. Obviously, Kobe's been developing, but I think we can get Darius Akuff and he'd be a stud for us. And then we have another pick here at 21. And we're actually going to take Caden Boozer. It might be a little bit of a shocker to take another point guard here, but he's a stud in these Sims. I think he develops pretty well. So obviously, we were at eight. Akuff was the best player we could have taken there. And then at 21, I think we had the best guy there too. I mean, we nailed this draft. Team player offers, we don't have any. And then qualifying offers, we're going to offer. George Brooks. Here we got with free agency. We're going to match Sonfer from the Heat for George Brooks. And then now we're going to try to sign Mitchell Robinson. They take a look at player progression. Kobe went up to an 84 overall. We're going to have to start looking to ship some of these vets out because I don't think this team has the ability to win a title this year. We're going to trade Zach Levine and Sam Hauser for Miles Bridges in Atlanta's unprotected first round pick in 2027. It's a good pick we can get. And then we're actually going to trade Bruce Brown of the Thunder for two first round picks. One unprotected from Oklahoma City, one top five protected. We love that. And then we're going to trade John Conchar in our 2029 unprotected second round pick from New Orleans for Chris Livingston. Just want to get a little younger, get a guy that maybe has some potential. Our starting lineup is going to look a little different, right? We're going Kobe White, Josh Giddy. We're actually going to start Chris Duarte this season at the three. That's the big hole in this team. We got to fill that. Julius Randle, Vucevic, off the bench, Mitchell Robinson. I would assume with Lonzo Ball, Bobby Portis, Miles Bridges. We're going to try to trade some of these guys down the stretch, especially Duarte. Going forward, we're actually not going to make any trades at the deadline. We like this starting lineup with Kobe White, Josh Giddy. We move Miles Bridges into the starting lineup. Julius Randle and Vucevic again off the bench. I would assume with Mitchell Robinson, Bobby Portis. We're going to bring George Brooks in the lineup and Darius Akuff. He's been playing well. Let's see if he can eventually take over. For Kobe White. Maybe he goes in the backcourt. We got a lot of good players in the guard spots. A good problem to have. Josh Giddy actually makes all NBA third team. I've never seen this before. Let's take a look at the stats this season. 19 points, eight rebounds, six assists with a steal and a block a game. 48, 33, 85 splits. We'll take it from P. Giddy. And then we're the 10th seed here in the playoffs. I, I don't really think we're going to make the playoffs. For 37 wins. Let's take a look at the stats too. Giddy led the team in scoring 19. Randall had 19. Kobe White had 16. Miles Bridges had 12. Vooch and Lonzo each had 10. Io had 10 off the bench. Good team. We just got to figure out the order of the guys. We're going to play, who is this, Miami? I'm not worried about Miami. And honestly, if we don't make the playoffs, I'm not that upset. Let's see how the game was though. It was by six. Josh Giddy had a 27 and 13 rebound game. Bobby had 15. Kobe and Julius each had 13. Lonzo had 11. Io had 10. Okay, so Josh Giddy has really developed into a star. So maybe we build around Josh Giddy, which is a weird thing to say out loud. And the Blazers win the championship. James Harden gets inducted to the Hall of Fame. No goaltending? Oh my God. All-star game. This is like the Elam ending. Teams are allowed to trade its first round picks in consecutive years. That's interesting. We like that. Our pick should be in here somewhere. Bulls via Denver. Oh, that's top five protected. And the Timberwolves have our pick at 14. Okay, so we want Denver's pick to be at like six. And it drops to seven. Oh my God, let's go. Here at the NBA draft, we're at pick seven. We're either gonna go for Caleb Gastons, Elijah Arenas, Alex Costanza. I think we go 
with Gaskins or Costanza because they're a wing. We don't have a, a good three right now. I think I'm going to go Alex Costanza. He seems to be the guy. He looks like he could be our wing of the future. We have another pick here at 25. Let's see who's on the board. So Hunter Greer. That's not a bad get. I think I go get Hunter Greer. Maybe I go get Keon Anthony. I think Keon Anthony's going to who I'm going to go with. We're going to see how those picks are. We know the first pick was going to be good. Costanza at eight was the third best player in the draft. We love to see that. We nailed that pick. And then we got Keon Anthony. There was a guy that was just as or a little better, but kind of nailed that pick. That's fine. We're going to sign both of them. No team player options. Qualifying offers. We are going to offer Earl Jenkins. And then Chris Livingston, we're going to offer him a nice deal. Only $3 million just to kind of bring him back. Josh Giddy goes up to an 84. Kobe White and Julius Randle both go down one. We don't like to see that. But Darius Akuff jumps up to an 83 overall. Oh my goodness. He's going to be the future of this team if someone else doesn't develop. Then we're actually going to create Chris Duarte for Donald Humphreys in a 2028 second. We just want the extra picks at this point. Okay, so we actually just made a big swing. Um, I didn't I didn't think it was going to work. We traded Lonzo Ball, Miles Bridges, and Caden Boozer for Franz Wagner. That changes our rotation entirely. We have Darius Akuff starting, Josh Giddy, Franz Wagner, Julius Randle, and Cole Vucevic. Off the bench, we have Kobe White, Mitchell Robinson, Iota Sumu, Bobby Portis, George Brooks. We're going to have to find a way to get Alex Costanza some playing time, but that was a huge trade. We're at the trade deadline here. We're actually in a really good spot. Starting off the season slow, we're moving up the standings, but it's on the back of our young guys, right? Akuff is starting. We have Josh Giddy. Alex Costanza's in the starting lineup. We have Julius Randle, Mitchell Robinson off the bench. It's been Kobe White, Iota Osunu, Bobby Portis, Earl Jenkins. Chris Livingston's been getting some spot minutes as well. We have a bunch of guys hurt. Vooch, George Brooks, and Franz Wagner all hurt. Once they come back, Earl Jenkins, Chris Livingston is going to lose some minutes. But we're in a good spot. We sneak into the playoffs as the seven seed. Let's actually take a look at the standings before we do this. We won 47 games. A couple of years ago, 47 games was like a three seed. So the East has gotten significantly better. We're closer to the, the two seed than we are to the, the eight seed right below us. So we're in a good spot. Take a look at the stats this season. Didn't really make any trades during the season. Josh Giddy led the team with 19 points, a cuff, 18. Kobe White with 15. Same with Franz Wagner. Randall had 14. Io had 11 off the bench. And Nikola Vucevic had 10. Great team ball. Vooch was a negative. So was Kobe White, Julius Randle, Io, Keon Anthony, and his little bit of mids, Franz Wagner, George Brooke. Earl was good. Darius was good. Mitch was good. Josh was good. Chris was good in limited minutes. Bobby was good. Alex Costanza. Alex Costanza was actually the best player. We're going to take on Billy. They're starting Peyton Pritchard. Paul George is a 79. They don't even have Mac. Bro, we're going to. Never mind. We barely beat them. Giddy had 23. Kobe and Julius each had 21. Franz had 19. Darius and Io each had 11. So we're going to be in the playoffs against. Detroit. That's going to be a tough series. Cade Cunningham, Herb Jones, Asar Thompson, Chet Holmgren. Oh my God. This is easily the toughest team we've played in the playoffs so far. They take game one. Yeah, I don't think we're going to win this game, this series at all. I mean, Portis is back. They take game two. We take game three. Can we get take game four? They take game four. Julius Randle's out too. They take a good first quarter. We have a good second quarter. Okay. Good third quarter. They have a good fourth. This is not good. They're starting to pull away. No, six seven. Yeah. And the Pistons are going to take down the Bulls here. Damn. This was easily the best team we played all season. In game one, Giddy had 27. Franz had, excuse me, 27 to 10. Franz had 18. That was it. Wow. Game two, we lose. Kobe had 26. Bobby had 22. Josh had 20. Vucevic had 18. Franz had 16. I would assume had 10. Game three, the only one we won in overtime, Josh had 20. Kobe had 18. Franz had 17. Julius Randle and Vucevic had 15. Costanza had 11 in only 13 minutes and Bobby had 10. Game four, we got smoked. And then game five, the closeout game. Bobby had 21. Franz had 24. All right. So we're moving this way. We still have a bunch of picks. We've made some good moves. Wemby versus Tyron Stokes. Okay, the Nets are really good. The Spurs lost in Victor won finals MVP. That's crazy. Vucevic is trying to retire. No, I need to be able to get something out of your contract, big dog. Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, and Paul George all made the Hall of Fame. Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, and KD all got their jersey retired. It's not three in the key anymore. It's now five in the key. I don't think we have a lottery pick. I mean, let's just see. Yeah, we don't. Okay. We have a pick of 15 via Boston. Okay, so that's actually a pretty good pick. All right, so going into this year, we're starting a very similar lineup. We're going Darius Akuff, Keon Anthony, Franz Wagner. Evan Mobley, Jalen Duran. Um, I don't actually know if I showed you guys the move that I made in the offseason. I traded Jalen Smith in a second round pick for Douglas Anderson. And then, yeah, obviously, like I said, a cuff. Keon Anthony, Franz Wagner, Evan Mobley, Jalen Duran, KP, the stands off the bench, Josh Leonard, Bentley, Luski Uno, and Wilson Bass. Gotta try to find some minutes from Dooney Johnson. But this team is fucking loaded, boys. Darius a cuff again. All NBA second team. Let's actually take a look at his stats this season 22 points, four rebounds, 10 assists, a steal and a block game. 53, 44, 89 splits. Wow, he played much better. So we got the four seed. We kind of struggled down the stretch. I don't really understand. 47 and 35. So we were pretty much a three seed. Not much farther behind Boston, but Detroit Pistons are so good. Let's take a look at the stats outside of Darius Akuff. Obviously 22 for him. Keon Anthony, who's got a sprained toe. 18 points. Mobley with 17. Costanza with 16. Franz with 12. Jalen Duran with 11. Josh Leonard off the bench with 10. Playing some good basketball. Taking on Indiana. How good are the Pacers? Halliburton, Jalen Green, Elijah Williams, Jerry. I'm not worried about this team at all. We should smoke the Pacers. Fell down 2-0. What the fuck is happening? We just got five, dude. 
What? How? We lose game one by 18. Darius Cup 32 and 10 double double. We lose game two by 12. A cup has 31. Josh Leonard has 20. We lose game three. Mobley has 25. A cup has 19 and 11. Anthony has 15. Leonard has 13. He stands as 12. We win game four, 25 and 16 from Darius to Cuff. Josh Leonard has 21. We lose game five. Damn, by what? 11? Cuff has 38. I like I keep trying to make changes to upgrade this team, but I don't know what else we need to continue to upgrade. Thunder win. Devonsta is a stud. AD is gone. Clint Capella is gone. Alice Turner, you're gonna come back. Can't no, you not yet. Oh gee, it's not time yet. Same with you, Pascal. Kuzma, John Collins, Wendell Carter, Dan Gafford. Come on, these guys can still play. All these guys can still play. Obi Toppin's gone. Pat Will, you're gone. Oneki Okongu, come on. These guys are still good NBA players. Why are they trying to retire already? AD gets inducted to the Hall of Fame. Gets his jersey retired in two different places. I don't think we have any lottery picks. Yeah, I don't think we have our pick at all. The Celtics do. Yeah. We're gonna accept the team option on Josh Leonard, Bentley, Lucicuno, and Duty Johnson. We're gonna extend qualifying offers to Wilson Bass, Donald Humphreys, Dylan Graham, Douglas Anderson, Keon Anthony, and Alex Costanza. We have a lot of guys we gotta go get. Chris Livingston, we're gonna offer him again another just another one year minimum deal. Darius a cuff, you're an unrestricted free agent. We're gonna give you a bag. Wilson Bass, Keon Anthony, and Alex Costanza all. We wanna make sure we bring all these guys back. Don't wanna, can we do this? Three to Chris Livingston. He's on a minimum deal. And then we're gonna try to get you. That's all we need to do. So Costanza, Keon Anthony, Humphreys, and Bass, and Graham, and Anderson. Well, we got a lot of guys that are restricted free agents. You're gonna get a nice deal, I would imagine. Let's see what you're getting. Are they just bullshit deals? They are. We signed those guys. That's huge. We need a shooting guard and a small forward. That's what Costanza and Keon Anthony are going to be. Taking a look at our team, Darius Akuff goes next, goes down one, but Keon Anthony goes up to an 88. Josh Leonard goes up to an 85. Excuse me, an 87. Taking a look at the lineup this year again, we're running it back. We're going Darius Akuff, Keon Anthony, Alex Costanza, Evan Mobley, and Jalen Duran. Off the bench, Josh Leonard, Franz Wagner, Christoph Porzingis, Wilson Bass, and Bentley Luskiuno. We still have Duny Johnson, Douglas Anderson, Dylan Graham, Chris Livingston. We got to start winning championships. Evan Mobley made all NBA defensive second team. Let's take a look at his stats this season averaging 18 points seven rebounds four assists a block or excuse me stealing two blocks 47 38 84 from the field i mean we're playing great basketball we are the two seed so we're gonna take on a play-in team let's take a look at the standings one game behind detroit so okay we're right there look at the stats here keon anthony 20 points costanza with 19 moly with 18 darius a with 18 and 10 josh leonard with 15 of his own so we have pretty much a big five right here so we like to see that we're gonna be taking on the new york knicks jason crow trey johnson florian kuminga dawson battle and jaron jackson so this is not gonna be an easy series let's go game by game we win game one we win game two. Oh, keon anthony no four to six weeks Okay, we take game three. Can we get out of here quickly? We get out of here quickly. Okay, so we sweep the Knicks. Game one, Mobley with a 36 and 12 double double. Game two, Josh Leonard with 24, Mobley with 21 and 10. Keon Anthony with 18, Costanza 16, a cuff with 15. Jalen Duran with a 13 and 10 double double. Game three, we win a cuff with 24, Mobley with 23 in the clincher. A cuff with 26, Jalen Duran with an 18 and 13 double double off the bench. Take on Indy. So let's actually take a look at the Pacers. Halliburton, Dinkpate, Elijah Williams, Jared Babcock, Bam and Bios. This is a much better team than I believe we played last year. So I'm, I'm nervous, especially with no Keon Anthony. Kyan Anthony. I keep messing his name. We're up two Oh, though. We're up 3-0. Can we sweep the Pacers? And they get one. Perfect. Gentlemen sweep. We get out of there. Game one, Darius with 31. Evan Mobley with 24. Game two, we win by 14. Darius a cuff with 26. Stands with 24. Mobley with 23. Game three, Evan Mobley with a 36 and 11 game. Darius a cuff with 33. And Porzingis with 22. We win that one. Game four, we lose, but Josh Leonard has 25. And then the clincher, we win by 16. Costanza with 26. Darius a cuff with 25. Franz Bogner with 21. Jalen Durant with 17. Mobley with 14. Wow, we almost had a triple level. 14, 9, and 7. Wow. We're going to take on Philly. Dame Sar, Cameron Holmes, Will Connor with Caleb Wilson and Derek Queen. So this is, again, a great team. We take game one, we take game two, we take game three, and we take game four. We're in the finals for the first time. We sweep the Sixers. Mobley with 29, Josh Leonard with 24. Game two, and by eight. Leonard with 29, Mobley with 28. A cuff with a 19 and 11 double-double. Game three, Darius a cuff has been the best. And we, I almost traded this pick. 36 and 13 for him. Costanza with 29 and Josh Leonard with 25. And then the clincher, we win by 13 on the road. Mustafa Diop and Darius a cuff averaged 26, 5, 11 on 61, 44. 100. Holy shit. Taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. Keon Anthony is kind of back. We're going to play him off the bench. John Morant, Kareem Lopez, Gigi Jackson, Mustafa Diop, and Eric Dampier. Grizzlies take game one. And we're fully healthy for the first time this postseason. They take the first two games. They are going to sweep us. Oh my God. Wow, we're going to get swept. Keon Anthony came back and we just got cooked. Yeah, they killed us in the first half. Down by five. Up by one. We're going to up by three. Up by six. Up by eight. Up by six. They're cutting the lead four. Can we sneak out? Out of here with a win and we're gonna sneak out of here with a win against the grizzlies okay we're going back to chicago they start off hot in the first quarter 
the Grizzlies pour it on and we fall to the Memphis Grizzlies here in game five. Let's take a look at this series. Game one, we lose by six. Costanza with 26, Mobley with 22. We lose game two by eight. We lose game three by what, almost 20. And we win game four by eight. Ja had 45 and 13. Gigi Jackson had 35. No shit, we lost. Wow, all these guys are trying to retire. Giannis, Cat, KP, KP can't retire. We're gonna have to get someone out of KP's contract. I'm not letting him retire, bro. Uh-uh. Joel Embiid gets inducted to the Hall of Fame. Him and Cat get their jersey retired. I don't think we have a draft pick here, but you know, you know, Never know. No, we don't. We're gonna sign Bentley and Luce Aquino. Qualifying offer. We're gonna offer Wilson Bass, Judy Johnson, Josh Leonard, Dylan Graham, and Douglas Anderson. Keon Anthony, we gotta sign you to a deal. Going into this season again, Darius Akuff, Keon Anthony, Alex Costanza, Evan Mobley, Jalen Duran off the bench, Josh Leonard, Franz Wagner, Bentley, Luce Aquino, Dooney Johnson, and Kristaps Porzingis. Got some other bums on the board, but other than that, we're in a weird spot. We just gotta get back to the finals. So we're the one seed here. Let's take a look at the standings. I believe we won 62 games. Yeah, the best team in the West. Minnesota Soda, 63 wins though. 20 points from Keon Anthony, 18 from Evan Mobley, who's currently hurt. He's only day-to-day -day, though, so hopefully he's back in time for the first round. Darius Cup with 17, Josh Leonard with 15, Costanza with 14, Duty Johnson with 12, and Bentley Luce Aquino with 11 of his own. Only guys in negative is Douglas Anderson, who really didn't play much. Anyways, everybody else has a positive plus minus. Let's see how we do this playoffs. This might be the season we finally do it. Taking on Atlanta, let's actually take a look at the Atlanta Hawks here. Led by Tyrone Jameson, Aiden Diggs, Zachary Sashay, Jalen Johnson, and Darius Wobbington. This is not your ordinary eight seed. I'll be honest. This is a good eight seed. We take game one. We take game two. We do what we're supposed to. We take game. Oh, Atlanta takes game three. We take game four. We take game five. Okay. Game one, we win by 22. Uh, Keon Anthony with 20. Game two, Darius Cup 28. Keon Anthony with 26. Josh Lander 25. Game three, we actually lost by 10. Costanza and Luis Aquino with 25 apiece. Game four, we win by 13. In the series clincher, 28 from Keon Anthony. 21 from a cuff, Luis Aquino, and Josh Lander. We're going to take on New York. Trey Johnson, Darius. Darius Adams, Montas, Bozellas, Cole Pete, and Dawson Batty. This is a great team. New York takes game one. We take game two. We take game three. They take game four. We take game five. They take game six. A winner take all game here. They start off hot. We come back. Have a great second quarter. Can we have a good third quarter? They have a good third quarter. We're in the fourth. I don't like this. Down by two, five, three. Down by four. No, down by seven. Down by five. Down by seven. Listen, if I lose this game, I lose this game, but I'm going for it. To the rim with Keon Anthony, wow! Oh my god, he exploded to the rim. Oh no, no, no. Stay down. I haven't played a game with this team. Noah Sunge, no! Rebound Jalen Duran! Down by one. Bring the pick and roll. He's gonna attack! Lay it up! Costanza! Oh my god, I actually probably had the layup. Get off the ball, get off the rock, get off the rock. No, what are we doing? Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Gotta go quick, I'm not going for three. Come on, come on. Give me one. Give me one! What a shot! Kyan Anthony! Oh my goodness, what a shot by Kyan Anthony! Shit. Oh my god, it's got cooked! Great help defense! We're taking the last shot. We're either hitting this or we're going to overtime. Come here. Down to Duran! Game! Let's go! The Bulls are gonna go to the Eastern Conference Finals! Let's go! Kyan Anthony, the best player in the series, oh my goodness, took over down the stretch. What a game and what a series. Let's take a look at these game stats. 24. This was the most insane shot I think I've ever actually hit in a 2K game, especially in this year's. To step back three to tie the game. Oh my goodness, Xbox, we need to record that. I cannot believe we won that series that way. Game three, we won by what, 32, 22? Game four, we lose by 16. Leads us in game five to a three point win. At game six, we lose this game. Game seven, clincher. Can Anthony, 24. We came down the stretch and hit a bunch of those. 18 for Evan Moley, 16, including the game winner for Jalen Duran, 14 for Franz Wagner, and 13 for Josh Leonard. Now we gotta take on the Indiana Pacers. The Indiana Pacers, they were a great team. Led by Tyrese Halliburton, they got Dick Pate, Gabe Snee Smith, Troy Smith. The road to a championship doesn't get any easier. We win game one, they win game two, we win game three. Jalen Duran, you're gonna have to play through a big fella. They win game four, we gotta win game five here. He's hurting. We win game five. We win in six and advance to the NBA Finals in game one. We win by what is that? Almost 30, 29 points. Game two, we lose by 21. Game three, we win by 22. Ken Anthony had 40 and 11. Oh my God. Game five, we lose by three. Or excuse me, that was game four. Game five, we win. Oh, we win the in the series in six. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. We're in the finals. We're going to take on Memphis or Golden State. Hopefully, Jalen Duran is healthy by then. John Morant, Ken Anthony, 23, 8, two steals and a block on 65, 50, 86 splits. And we're going to be fully healthy going into this series. John Morant, Kareem Lopez, Ryan Hampton, Mustafa, Stadia, 
in Dairy Queen. This is the team that took us out last year. Maybe get some revenge and they take us in game one. We take them in game two. We take them in game three. We take them in game four. And the Chicago Bulls are finally NBA champions. Evan Mobley, 20 points, seven rebounds, five assists, a steal of two blocks. 53, 29, 80 splits. We're going to take a look at this. Game one, we lose by 16. Costanza leads away with 20. Dan Anthony has 19. Evan Mobley has 15. Josh Leonard, 13. Darius Cup at 10. Game two, in just 15 minutes, Johnson goes for 31. Dan Anthony has 21. Evan Mobley has 20. Game three, we win by 16. Dan Anthony has a 23 and 10 double double. Darius Cup and Evan Mobley each have 22. Game four, a one point win. Dan Anthony goes for 33. And in game five, the clincher, Leonard goes for 25 and 22 minutes. Evan Mobley with 23. Can Anthony with 17, a cup with 16, and Jalen Durant with 10. In the first round, it was Keon Anthony. Second round, it was Keon Anthony. Third round, it was Keon Anthony. But this round, Evan Mobley. Keon Anthony went 23, 6, and 5. But Evan Mobley, 19, 7, and 5 with a steal and two blocks. I knew this was going to take a while. This team is incredible, and I completed every goal. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and you want to see some more NBA content, make sure to comment down below. And YouTube thinks you're going to like this video. Find out if they're right.